the country of Israel is a country that is besieged by um, threats constantly. And uh, I think there's a much more heightened sense of security, a much more heightened sense of, of, of uh, potential threats than there is sometimes in the United States, which is ironic because when you see a tragedy like the one that we experienced, uh, uh, I guess it was yesterday, and you see the, the loss of life and, 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 and the pervasiveness of guns, it's a very a gun culture in, 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 um, down in the United States. Um, it, it really does sort of flip that threat level on its head and make you wonder uh, where you're really safe and where you're not safe. And so, you know, safety is something you have to work for. It's something that we often take for granted, unfortunately, but it's not until there's incidents like the one that happened yesterday that really uh, make us understand just how fragile our safety is and how fragile our world is uh, to, to, to certain threats. I just want to use the opportunity and thank the mayor of Miami coming to Shalva and spending the time and really understanding the mission and the, how he explained so nicely and so clear what Shalva does and the idea of inclusion, how deep it is and how important it is. And people like you coming here show and give the support, give us a lot, a lot of hope to really be able to get it to change the world. So I thank you very much. And it's difficult times in Florida. Yeah. We're with you and we believe that America will get over it and find the solutions. And if Israel can give one of them, we'll be very happy. And let me just say, let me just finish by saying that uh, there were many emotional moments for me from the moment I arrived until now. But the most incredible moment for me was watching the band play, but not just watching the band play, which was sensational, but one of the singers was blind. And to hear her speak about Miami and the way that she spoke about Miami, her dream to go to Miami, and to think that at a very young age she was blind, so she has this idea of what Miami is in her mind that has either been told to her, or maybe that she remembers when she was very little, but it's amazing to see that someone can communicate that beauty, which is, I feel very much in my heart, obviously, being the mayor of Miami, uh, but the excitement and the, the, the um, joy over the prospect of potentially going to Miami for me was very touching.